Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. And if you're new, welcome. My name's Heather. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really, really helps me out. Um, if you've been here watching a few of my videos, um, definitely stick around, please subscribe. I really, really, really appreciate it. So um, let's just jump in. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of the healthy habits that I have formed over this weight loss journey. Some people say it takes 21 days to actually create a habit, but um, I actually read somewhere that it was like 66 days or something like that. Um, but for me personally, it takes a lot longer than that. I would actually say about like four to six month period to actually form real habits. That's just me. It could be different for you personally, but that's just me. Um, but today I w really wanted to talk to you about the healthy habits that I have formed in the last, you know, eight months of my weight loss journey. Okay, so for the first one I'm going to start out with is moving your body. Uh, move your body. Move your body. Okay, sorry. I don't know why I do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, oh, I embarrass myself. This one means that for me, I'm not just sedentary. I'm not just going to the gym, um, coming home and then sitting around and not moving my body. I have a goal daily to get at minimum 10,000 steps. My actual like goal to get is 15,000 steps every day. I don't always reach that, but my minimum is always 10,000. And if I don't reach that, I will literally get up, clean the house or do something, you know, finish up whatever I need to get done for those extra steps because honestly it really really makes a difference extra steps in this habit where no pun intended actually it is intended like I will park farther away at the grocery store and make sure that I'm walking you know those steps or I will take the stairs instead of the elevator or the escalator so it's really important if you have a sedentary job where you're in an office and you're sitting at a desk you know just make sure you make those extra steps <laughs> in getting in those steps instead of um, sending a quick email or making that quick phone call to somebody down the hall, you know, actually walking down there and making a point to walk down there. Otherwise, you get sedentary and you don't even realize that you are. But getting those extra steps in actually matters. And for me, I track everything with my Fitbit. So um, I definitely suggest getting a Fitbit. If you don't have one, it will help so much. Another healthy habit that I formed is actually going to the gym on a schedule. I am a regular gym goer now. <laughs> So they know me by name, by face. Everybody knows me at the gym now. I make a point to make it a daily thing. So it's just like waking up in the morning and, you know, brushing your teeth, getting dressed, having your coffee. I get ready and I go to the gym. Like it's, it's a no brainer. I'm going, I'm going every day. Um, so I don't have to question, am I going to go to the gym? Am I going to make it? Should I go? I don't have those options or those shoulds. Should I, or should I not? It's just, I do, I go. So I suggest writing it down in your planner, making it, putting it on your schedule and making it a daily thing that you're going to do no matter what. And you really will start forming that habit. Create that schedule for yourself. That way you don't have those moments when you're being lazy or you're feeling kind of sick that you don't go. I mean, in the past, I'm going to be honest, <laughs> TMI honest. Um, when I was like on my period, um, I would be like, oh, you know, I'm too crampy or I have a headache or I'm too fatigued and tired. I can't go. But in reality, I just needed to go. That's it. I just needed to get up, get dressed and go because while working out, I wasn't feeling crampy. I was, you're not actually going through those things when you're moving your body. Um, it actually makes you feel better. So I don't make those excuses anymore for myself. And I mean, I used to do it for everything. Like if I had a sore throat or a cough or a runny nose or just anything like that, say, oh, well, I'm sick. I can't go. And that's not the case. Like you still have to go to work when you have a runny nose or a sore throat. That doesn't mean that you don't go to work. That doesn't mean that you don't take care of your kids. That doesn't mean that you don't do your chores and you don't get, you know, dinner made. So why don't you go to the gym? You know? <laughs> so I've definitely kicked that, those bad excuses um, out the door and I've made it a habit to actually just make it routine and go to the gym. No fast food. So I talked about this in my uh, weight loss journey video and I can link it up here. And I talked about how I do not eat any fast food. I do not go through fast food or anything like that. The only fast food places that I do go to are like Chipotle. I love Chipotle. Burrito bowls, so good. But Chipotle, um, Chick-fil-A I'll go to, and that's one that I like to take my toddler to. He loves Chick-fil-A, so we do go to Chick-fil-A, but they do have healthier options. You know, they have grilled chicken nuggets, they have salads, they have soups. They have things that are healthier than, you know, McDonald's or Burger King. So I steer clear of Taco Bell and those places, even though, you know, your girl used to love those places, especially when I was pregnant. But I steer completely clear of them. You know, Pizza Hut, those places, no thank you. I just eat healthy now healthy fast foods. That's it. <laughs> Another healthy habit that we have formed is making meals from home. And this one was really hard for me because I am the type of person who, when I'm hungry, I'm hungry. I am hungry. I get hangry. 
hungry. <laughs> I am so hungry when I'm hungry that I'm hungry. I will bite your head off hungry. <laughs> what I like to do now is I'll actually have snacks while I'm cooking dinner. I'll make sure I have, you know, spinach dip next to me with some carrots or an apple with peanut butter or something, some nuts, whatever I can grab and just quickly eat while I'm cooking dinner. That way I'm not starving to the point where I don't want to finish making dinner. I don't even want to start it or, you know, I just give up altogether. So that's important to me to focus on, you know, making meals from home. It's still a habit I'm forming and creating and working through and towards. It's definitely a really good goal, but um, it's something that I think more people should focus on because you'll save more money doing that. You'll have food for leftovers later that you can meal prep and that you can take with you to work the next day. The next healthy habit that I have formed is intuitive eating. So this is really important to me because in the past I would be restrictive for, you know, a couple of months and then my body just couldn't do it anymore. And mentally I couldn't handle it. I would just want, want, want everything because I couldn't have it. I didn't allow myself to have those things. And so I would binge. So now what I do is I intuitively eat. So when I am hungry, no matter what time of day, I will eat. If it's like lunchtime and I'm not hungry, I won't eat. So those time constraints, when to eat and when to not eat, I don't follow those rules. I intuitively eat when I'm hungry, I eat when I'm not hungry, I don't eat. Um, when I want more food, I want more food. Like if I want a big lunch, I'll have a big lunch. If I'd rather have a small dinner, I'll have a small dinner. It does not matter to me. I'm not following any specific rules, um, the societal rules of when to eat, when to not eat, and how much to eat. I don't follow those rules. I do me. <laughs> Another habit that I've formed, and I actually overdid this habit, <laughs> kind of embarrassing, but um, is drinking water. So a lot of people say like when you're on a weight loss journey, you know, the first thing people tell you is drink more water, drink more water. Um, so I did when I, when I first started the first month, um, I drank probably five to six 40 ounce water bottles a day. Um, and I started to have to pee all TMI, sorry, TMI. I was peeing so much that I thought I had an issue. I went to the doctor and I was like, look, I am peeing all the time. What is wrong with me? What's wrong with my bladder? Like, help me, fix me, do something. And he was like, okay, you know, what have you been doing lately? And I was like, I'm on a weight loss journey. And he was like, okay, cool. So what have you changed in your diet? And I was like, well, I've just been eating healthier and drinking more water. He's like, and I had my water bottle with me. It's actually this one, which is 40 ounces. <laughs> and he asked me, you know, okay, how many bottles of water are you drinking a day? And I was like, well, I think I fill it up like four to five times a day. And he was like, what? Stop. He was like, you're drinking too much water. You can stop. You can drink less water. And I have never, ever, 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 ever heard a doctor say that before. Did I hear you correctly? You don't want me to drink as much water as I've been drinking. So anyway, point being, can't overdo it, trust me. <laughs> but definitely drink more water. Substitute water for those things that you've been, you know, that you shouldn't be drinking. Like if it's your fourth cup of coffee, maybe instead drink some water. <laughs> I have that issue too. Another habit that I've been working on following serving sizes when it comes to like snacks or like little treats, candy, um, having a cookie or a piece of cake, ice cream, peanut butter, nuts, any type of snack food, popcorn. Um, I'm reading the serving sizes because those are things that you can easily eat so much of, not even realizing it because you know, they're little snacks and you will eat so many calories. You had no idea you, you know, you overdid it. So just be mindful of serving sizes. Um, a lot of times on the packaging, they will, you know, make the serving size extremely small so that the calorie count will look low um, so that you'll buy the food and think, oh, this has less calories in it. That's the way that they trick you. Um, so definitely check, check into that. But just be mindful and aware of how many um, nuts you're actually eating. You know, a handful, a small handful of nuts is pretty high in calories. So just be mindful of that. You know, portion control, don't go overboard. Oh, which leads me into the next one, portion control. Um, this is one that I <laughs> struggled all my life with. Girl, this girl likes to eat. I'm, let me tell you, I can eat like a man. I, I, can, I I'm hungry, I told you, I was hung, I'm hungry. <laughs> So for me, I really had to focus on portion control because I, I stretched my stomach. Your stomach can stretch. If you didn't know this, your stomach can stretch. And when you're overeating, you stretch your stomach out and it wants to fill that void. When you're hungry, it thinks, I'm hungry. I need to fill this void. But really, you don't need that much food. And what I'd done over the years is eat, 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 stretch my stomach out. And so I always felt hungry. But the problem was, is my stomach was stretched out. I was overeating. I didn't have good portion control. And that was my issue. But now I've really formed this habit where I am eating on small plates. So instead of eating on those big dinner plates that people normally eat on, I eat on a salad plate. It has changed my mindset so much. Um, mentally, I'm not feeling like, you know, the phrase when your eyes are bigger than your stomach, when you 
Um, <laughs> you go to get some food and you put way too much on your plate and you're like, wow, my eyes are bigger than my stomach. Well, that's because sometimes you think you can eat more than you really should. And that was the case for me. I was always overeating. Eating on smaller plates really, really helped me. It mentally trained my eyes to look at food and see that I didn't eat as much as I thought I did. Okay, so the last thing I want to leave you with is um, a phrase my husband and I say all the time, and that is eat to live, don't live to eat. And this one's important because I feel like a lot of times we go out with friends and family or we're sitting at home bored and you just eat out of boredom or you're eating because you're at a party or you're celebrating something with friends and family or you know everything we do in our society revolves around food and it's fine food is amazing food is so good I'm a foodie I enjoy eating but that doesn't mean you need to eat 24 7 and that doesn't mean you have to eat if that makes sense so so if you're out at a function a party some type of event and there's food there but you've already eaten that does not mean you have to eat again and this can be hard and sometimes challenging because people expect you to eat or they might feel offended if you don't eat what they've cooked or they or what they've made but honestly it do you it's it's honestly this is your life, your weight loss journey, and it's important to do you. So if you're not wanting to eat what they have offered, say they had pizza and you know, you don't want to eat pizza that night or that's all they have. They don't have any healthy options. Don't eat it. You know, just don't just tell them, you know, no, thank you. I'm fine. I ate before or whatever. And another thing is if I go somewhere and I expected there to be food and I didn't eat, um, and they didn't have food, I make sure that I bring snacks. Leave some snacks in your car, leave some snacks in your purse, bring snacks everywhere just so that you're not, um, number one, starving, or you're made to feel like you have to eat something that you, is not on your diet plan. You know, aren't very distracting type foods that you're like pulling out of your, not pulling out a sandwich, <laughs> but you know, have snacks with you. So those are all the habits that I have formed throughout this weight loss journey. I hope that those were helpful for you. And if you have any extra helpful tips or habits, leave them in the comments for others. And for me, I would definitely love to hear what you have share those, let other people know, let people in on these tips. Like everyone should be healthy and everyone should have a chance to be fit and live their best life. Um, so definitely share those below. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And thank you so much for those who have already subscribed to me. I really, really, really love you and I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye guys. You didn't know this, your stomach, your, your stomach. What are you doing? <laughs> If you like this video don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like why are my eyes closed